A video of One UI 7 has just been leaked, revealing not only its new design but new animations and even new features. This has been published by Android Headlines, and in this video you can see the transformation that could have the icons. Although honestly, this change in the design of icons does not seem very attractive to me. I hope Samsung lets the user choose between the classic icons and these new icons. Because these new icons look more like a Chinese manufacturer than a South Korean one. Anyway, then we see a transition to the home screen where you can also see other widgets with more abstract shapes like those that Google usually has. And we also see a new indicator on the battery very similar to the iPhone which is completely different from what Samsung had managed until now. Then there's another transition to the lock screen, which seems to look very similar to what we've seen today. It looks like Samsung will not be joining the trend that Apple imposed by having magazine styles and different covers for the lock screen that most Chinese manufacturers have followed. However, a novelty that does seem to be present is at the bottom where there will be a new capsule of controls. This video shows a capsule of the player, another capsule of the voice recorder and one more capsule of the timer. Surely Samsung will allow to have different live activities in this part, very similar to a proposal that Apple had some time ago, but Apple opened it to be compatible with more developers. We do not know if Samsung will do the same so that, for example, in that small capsule you can also see the progress of your Uber or the progress of your food order or similar things. Then we are left to see the quick settings panel but in this case with a very different design to what we had previously seen with a horizontal control for sound and brightness. Which could also lead us to the conclusion that Samsung will let you customize these groups of buttons or buttons to place them where you want and resize them. But this is only speculation, we will have to wait for the official announcement. Finally we can also see the notifications panel where for example the voice recorder or the timer also gain a small color tint with the gradient that makes them look interesting, in this case being activities that are in real time. While simple notifications will have the traditional transparency effect, able to be grouped and in this case with a much more rounded design unlike past generations. In this same publication, the Android headline site notes that Samsung could also be working on an improved parental control so that parents can configure devices to request permissions before installing any application. Although in this case, the screenshots show Galaxy Store and we do not know if it will also support Google Play, but in these screenshots, parents should authorize through a password to install these applications. So more or less, these are the improvements expected in One UI 7. Another video has also been leaked where you supposedly see the recent apps panel and this new animation as the apps would have a stack layout in this view. So when you're about to dismiss an app, the app on the side would appear on top. It's a very nice looking animation. And finally, there's another video that's going around the networks where they do the open test and where they do the test of continuously opening many apps by closing quickly. It's a test that many people like to do and One UI 6 was not able to keep a good pace. It seemed to be a bit clumsy in this kind of test, but according to this video, even in slow motion, you manage to appreciate the excellent animation design that it would have because it would be a non-linear animation that at times has a good acceleration and then goes a little slower to give a very nice touch. So, I insist that this update is expected to be very good not only in terms of aesthetics and functionalities, but also in terms of all the fluidity that it will be able to achieve. Um, and... Uh